What's up everybody, today we're going to be doing the reverse nodes in K group problem on leak code. As usual, we'll first write it out on a whiteboard, then we'll turn it into code, and then finally we'll go over the time complexity of it. However, you should know that this solution is going to assume that you know how to reverse a linked list. If you don't, I recommend this page on Geeks for Geeks called Reverse Linked List. It's super helpful and it even has a really nice illustration of how the algorithm works. So let's get into it. Alright, so I went ahead and copied down everything the leak code gives you. We're given a linked list and we're told to reverse the nodes of the linked list k at a time and return the modified list. We're also told k is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of nodes is not a multiple of k, then the left out nodes in the end should remain unchanged. So for example, if we're given this list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if k is 2, we reverse 2 and 1, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so we get 2, 1, 4, 3, 6, 5. If k is 4, we're going to reverse 4, 3, 2, 1, and leave 5, 6 unchanged because 4 is not a multiple of 6. So we get 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 6. And so let's jump into the algorithm for this. If you don't know how to reverse the length list, there's tons of resources online because it's a pretty popular question. But for now, I'm just going to say we have a method called reverse that takes in a node and also the number of and also the length of the list that we want it to be reversed which will just be k and so now that we have that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list node called root and all it's going to do is hold zero or any value i'm going to move this down here and i'm going to say roots.next is equal to head. And then we're also going to create a pointer to head and also a pointer to root. You can call these whatever you want. I just think these names make the most sense. And so essentially we're going to walk cur through the list until it's either null or until we're at a multiple of four. And so if this is index zero, the first step we're going to do is move it to the fourth index here. But before we do that, we're always going to create a pointer to the start where cur was originally. And so once we move cur, all we need to do is call our reverse method with the parameters tail and our k. And essentially that'll just reverse this entire linked list up to the fourth index. And so we're going to say, prev.next is equal to the reversed of tail. And so it should look like this. And so this is what our list is going to look like after the first iteration. And then after we reverse it, we're going to say prev is equal to tail. And so just like before, first we're going to create a pointer variable called tail pointing to Kerr's original location. And then we're gonna walk Kerr up the list until it's either at a multiple of K or until Kerr is null. And in this case, we're gonna get Kerr is null before we can find a multiple of K. In this case, all we're gonna say is prevs.next, this arrow is equal to tail. And so now our list is zero, four, three, two, one, five, six. And you might be saying, how do we get rid of this zero? All we need to say is return root.next. And so now our list is four, three, two, one, five, six, and that's the expected output. All right, so let's start coding. Like I said before, this solution assumes that you know how to reverse a length list, but if you don't, I'll quickly go over it. This is essentially the Geeks for Geeks code, except with the added parameter int k, and it just stops reversing when you get to the kth index. And so, like I say here, given list node head, the reverse method returns the list reversed up until the kth index. Knowing that, let's work on our solution. Like we said before, we're gonna create a list node root and we're gonna initialize it with value zero and we can pass in the next list node and we know that we needed to point it to head, create our two pointer list nodes. And then while cur is not null, get the original location of cur and then start a counting variable to make sure that we go up to the kth index. 
And in this while loop, we're just gonna move up to the kth index. Just say cur equal cur.next list index plus plus. And now we need to check to see if list index does not equal k. Because if it doesn't equal k, then we know that we're in this type of situation where we are at the end of the list and we can't reverse it. And so we're just gonna say if list index is not equal k, prev.next is tail. Else, and so just like on our written solution, we're gonna say prev.next is equal to reverse pass and tail and k. And then after it's been reversed, we say prev is equal to tail. And now we can just say return root.next because we have that added zero node here. And if any of this doesn't make sense, I encourage you to rewind and go back over the written solution because at least for me, kind of the only way for me to understand list node problems is if I actually write it out. So let's see if this works. All right, and we get a runtime of zero milliseconds faster than 100% of Java online solutions, which is not bad. All right, so let's talk about the time complexity of this code. We can look at our while loop and see that it's because it's going over cur until it's not null, that's essentially gonna be going over the length of the given list, and we can just call that n. So this while loop is happening n times, but inside the while loop, we're calling reverse of tail and k. And reverse also has a while loop that goes over k constant time operations. And so because our while loop that's happening n times has a operation that takes k times, we're gonna say our runtime is n times k, where n is the length of the given list and k is given. And now let's take a look at our memory usage. The only memory we allocate is this list node and the pointer variables. And so we're gonna say our memory use is constant. And so that's how you do the reverse k group problem on leak code. As always, the problem is in the description. If you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.